Welcome back everyone, Dino Joe here. Got the 661 project. Get some baseline runs, swap on that repaired ported cylinder. Might even try the 660 pipe on it, see if it works or not. So we'll get into that, show you a little bit about it. Don't have a top cover for it, but it'll work for some dyno runs. Alright, here's a look inside the ported cylinder that we repaired the flange on. Exhaust is raised and widened. Transfers are raised, re-aimed. Squish bands cut. Base is cut. Widen the intake also. So we'll get this put on. See what kind of power it puts out. And then we'll put the pipe on it. See if the pipe works well with this porting. Here's something I found interesting. The saw must have had a top end failure at some point in its life. There's all these divots over here on the sides, which would be underneath the piston. Piston's fine. Cylinder looks good. So must have had some issues along the way somewhere. Just thought you guys might want to see that. All right, I'll stick this top end down now. All right, here's inside the stock 661 muffler. This is kind of a baffle plate. What I like to do is mill the majority of this out. That way, exhaust can go out the factory hole a little bit better. This is with the screen removed. So, I'll set this up in the mill, get rid of most of this, and then I'll add another port on the front cover. I'll show you all that. All right, let's get this in the mill. Here's the finished muffler cover. It's one of my medium wide deflectors all trimmed up to fit. Nice hole. Opened up on the inside edge of the front cover there. Opened up the baffle. Lightly scrape the carbon out with a wire brush, blow it out, hit it with some brake cleaner, make sure it's nice and clean. Alright, we'll get this mounted up, see what kind of power the ported cylinder makes. Alright, here's the saw with the muffler mod. Still waiting on top cover, but it'll work for a couple dyno pulls. Seen some use. This little peak here is from loading the saw and the carb trying to catch up right at the same time I'm trying to add load. I try and add the load nice and smooth, but 
this was the carb trying to fight me a little bit. So that's what this peak is. It doesn't really change anything, doesn't do anything. The real power is up here on the piped ported run. This was just trying to learn it, trying to get it feel out. These pipes, they can get a little tricky to keep in the power band. So I just wanted to explain what that little peak is. That was just the carb trying to tune while I'm trying to add a little bit of load. So it gave me a little spike right there. All right, here's the results with the ported cylinder. So here's the run with the ported cylinder. 9.48 horsepower at 9,500 RPM. That's about a 25% gain over stock and it has a nice flat broad power band the pipes make them a little bit peakier which that tends to happen with a pipe and you see the ported saw actually pulls better down low too versus stock and the pipes on pipe the ported saw was only about 10 percent more power i think it really needed it needs to be tweaked a little bit to make the power it should, but it wasn't made for it. This is just something fun to try. 11.12 horsepower ported on pipe. 9.48 horsepower just ported. At that 9,500, 9.94 with a stock saw on the pipe. And then the stock saw down here, 7.65 at 9,500. There's the results. Like I said, this was just a fun test, something to try. Had the cylinder, wanted to repair it. Got it all fixed up. Now we know. Thanks a lot, everybody.